everybody part two of the swarm so let me give you an update i went through the double nuke it did not swarm that's the only thing that could have swarmed i know people <laughs> i heard mike barry talking their day like nobody's bees swarm but it's hard to keep them from swarming the flows they got the flows they have is crazy our flows are heavy but they're shorter and thank god with my job i can be here in the summer easily so that really gives me an advantage i can be in the hives okay so i believe this is the little swarm that was in the tree that i didn't mess with because it's problematic as you can see it's in the air again why is that because the reason i was saying they're usually problematic is because little swarms like this are absconds they are just unlocked, unbalanced. They want to abscond at the drop of a hat. So usually a big swarm that's searching for a box for several days and commits to it, you can go in there, you can do whatever you want. They want to abscond, okay? This thing just swarmed, you know, I don't know, what, an hour ago. So I brought a frame of brood with a bunch of cat brood, a bunch of honey, a little bit of pollen, and some um, young larvae that they would have to feed and some larvae that wasn't capped to help lock them in because I know they're unbalanced because I know it's I know it's the swarm from the tree now now that I've been in the nuke so just they was all bearded up at the front so I took my hive tool and I just lifted them up a little bit and boy they went airborne you know just completely unlocked and but and when i dropped the frame of brood in i heard the queen pipe Meh. and that was it like come on let's get out of here <laughs> and um so now they're airborne some are going in the box i don't know where they're set, where they'll settle if they don't settle back in this box i will take the frame of brood out and give it to the nook from the other day's video um that swarm even though I give them a frame of honey and two shakes of bees already. Um, and that was just really to help them out and give me some time. I, I'm not done with that. I just, I'm very busy. And some people on YouTube, not all, but a lot of people, you know, they've watched enough videos or something. They say, you know, the perfect way to do everything. And a lot of times you don't know this, but you don't have time to do it that way or you got other concerns you know more priorities or whatever but so anyway um i would agree that frame that that box needs some brood and um pumped up so it can winter but for now it got a couple shakes of bees and a honey frame to buy me some time basically and to help it so those girls are uh they're not even over the hive no more. They'll probably go up in the tree. And, um, <laughs> that's one thing about bees. I don't care how seasoned you are. They will throw you a curveball. Now, obviously, I know bees can abscond due to beekeeper pressure. And I know it's not a good idea as soon as they land to go ripping the lid off that they can make them abscond. But, you know, when you're a new beekeeper, you want to save every little bee. You want to do everything possible. And after you get enough bees and you've killed enough bees and you've grown enough bees, the new can't let one bee die, got to save this, got to have all these little dinky splits that will never amount to nothing or winter. Got to try to do all I can and got myself stretched so thin that none of them are going to live. I'd be better off combining them all into two hives that goes away <laughs> and uh, that's what you're witnessing here if they land in the tree then uh, then it wasn't meant to be and I'm not messing with them um, since I come out to the box and they was here I thought I'd throw a frame of brood in to help hold them but I mean that just goes to prove why I didn't even shake them out of the tree to begin with they're just um, problematic bees and and they'll probably never winter. And um, 
Now, I know that just sounds absolutely crazy to a new beekeeper. Like, like whatever, I could feed that, I could put brood in that thing, and I know it would winter. Well, maybe. But this one is back in the tree. And now, John Boy's done with them. So good luck to y'all. <laughs> uh, and um, I've seen another beekeeper on YouTube dealing with this. And this is why they're not worth jacking with. They're, uh, they got viruses from Varroa or something. Something is not right with them. And you're best to just let them fly. So, so good riddance. Thanks for uh, the show. And... Y'all have a blessed day, John.